What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Ryan. I hope you guys are having a great week. I know one person is going to have a great week. Donald Trump. Of course, the, the debate is coming up in less than 48 hours, and there's going to be a lot of topics to be discussed. One of them is the economy. People, especially Americans, are ready to hear both sides of what they think, how they could help the economy. Uh, I know. A lot of Americans, uh, if you look at the polls, are dissatisfied with the economy, right? And uh, there's, we're going to go over this article here uh, saying a Nobel Prize winning economists feel like uh, Joe Biden would be better moving forward for the economy. And I'm just thinking, like, really? All these smart people think um, Joe Biden is going to be better for the economy? And if you're looking at uh, what he's done over the four years, do you feel like he's earned that uh, right to move on and help out with the economy, especially with a bunch of Americans, especially working class, middle of Americans feel like the, uh, the, the economy is uh, not uh, working out for them. But uh, we're going to go over for that article. Also... Um, what uh, this is another article from uh, New York Post of like what can Donald do to uh, secure this victory coming up? I know there's going to be two debates uh, here in a couple days and one in September, and uh, it's going to be really exciting. But we're going to go over what New York Post thinks uh, what Trump can do to get a victory, but it's always going to be a victory uh, with uh, Trump because he's so charismatic uh with his energy and his enthusiasm so we're gonna go over that also what are your thoughts of uh the potential vp picks uh of course trump is going to come out with that thursday he's uh narrated down to maybe three people um jd vance marco rubio and uh berman i always forget the third guy but uh what are your thoughts? Or he might even choose somebody totally different because, you know, no one can uh, get into uh, Trump's head because uh, that's why he just made him such a, a terrific leader. No one could, like, really tell him what to do. It's, he was just his own own guy, right? Own president, own leader. He'll just decide what's, uh, what, what is right for America. But let's uh, go through this article here, this... Um, uh, Exo's uh, article here saying that uh, 16 noble economists see a Trump inflation bubble. 16 Nobel Prize winning economists are jumping into the presidential campaign with a stark warning for President Trump's uh, plans would reignite inflation, causing lasting harm to the global economy. <laughs> Okay, um, I don't know who these Nobel laureates are, uh, saying the, the inflation would be worse under Trump, uh, have you seen the economy? Um, the economist, uh, wrote to a letter, while each of us has different views of the particulars of various economists, economic policies we all agree that joe biden's economy agenda is vastly superior to the to donald trump <sighs> really uh, i just you know <laughs> you can just literally just go outside and just look at uh biden's economy and just see if like it's working right and to say like um it would be worse on under Donald Trump, uh, I mean, if you look at his can his whole presidential uh, from 2016 to 2020, uh, was it the economy better? I, I mean, right? Was the economy better from like 2016 to 2020? Right? Um, of course, uh, he stopped using uh, Joe Biden the term of uh, Bidenomics. Uh, because it didn't work. Of course. Of course uh, it didn't work. And uh, the voters uh, are saying the, the economy is not great. Either, uh, e even though the, the White House is saying it's great. Um, 
yeah, it's going to be a big sticking point in the debate coming up. Um, but are these, uh, I don't know who these noble lariats are. I don't know, I can't, I can't pronounce Lariats? I don't even know what that is. Uh, smart people. All these smart people feel like uh, Trump is going to have a negative impact on the U.S. economy, right? Uh, I just don't see it. I just do, I mean, compared to Bidenomics, it, it can't get any worse than Bidenomics. I, I mean, that's what, what do I, that's how I feel. But put it in the comment section below. Um, but again, uh, this one, this one quote that uh, many Americans are c concerned with inflation uh, and the economy. That's what I agree with this, in this one article. But it's going to be a real sticking point with both debates to see uh, how they approach it, uh, Joe Biden and uh, Donald Trump. Um, but let's go to this other article here, this New York Post, uh, saying uh, how uh, Trump could uh, win this article or win this debate coming up. Um, and I also like how uh, New York Post is now uh, <laughs> kind of for uh Donald Trump I just remember like New York Post wasn't uh for Donald Trump at all uh quoting Trump here how should I handle him I should be tough and nasty look at that so it, it just you know no matter how you feel about Trump he's always going to be exciting right he just always going to be entertaining exciting right uh this article is talking about the uh maggie maga rally crowd out there and uh he's just trying to figure out what uh voters want i always feel like he should just be uh be himself right just out there entertaining charismatic and just let Joe Biden just put people to sleep, right? I mean, that's how he did it with uh, Hillary Clinton, right? Um, and this New York Post article saying uh, they should just let Biden uh, fall on the sword himself because he can't form a sentence, um, forgetting where he is, uh, is your advantage there. And then uh, it says uh, there are millions of Americans who are upset with Biden. Um, yes, that's one thing I could uh, I could see that. But I, I just like how uh, all these uh, media outlets are uh, going for Trump, and uh, that's a that's really great, right? What a change uh, from uh, a couple of years ago. But uh, put in your comment section below, um, who do you got for the VP? And also, uh, are you guys ready? Are you guys pumped for this debate? It's like the political Super Bowl coming up, right? If, if you aren't into uh, po politics or any like government form, uh, uh, news, uh, Anything uh, government or politics, uh, I feel like this is going to be uh, highest ratings for CNN um, or any kind of like news channel about politics. It's going to be through the roof with ratings. It's going to be like the Super Bowl, maybe even higher than the Super Bowl with the ratings because of one man. And we're talking about... Donald Trump, we're not talking about Sleepy Joe putting people to sleep here. We're talking about the man coming up. And, of course, we're live streaming this Thursday around 5.30 all the way through. We're going to give our comments and read your comments, see how you're feeling, do some polls, and like figure out uh, which uh, side is doing better. We're going to figure all this out. But put in your comment section below. Um, are you guys pumped? Look at this crowd. All right, this is every 
every Trump rally. This is every Trump rally in this, this ad. This is every Trump rally, okay? And it's going to be more in 2024. Look how excited people are. Anyways, this is your boy, Ryan. I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, I'll check you guys out tomorrow. Wait. I am forgetting days. I am going to check you out tomorrow regardless. But we are pumped. We are pumped for Donald Trump. And we're pumped for the debates. Anyways, this is your boy, Ryan. If you like this video, please like, subscribe. I'll check you guys out in the next one. Stay safe and keep on shocking. Peace.